the Excellency, ECOWAS is caught up in a very difficult situation now after uh, a deadline to invade Niger expired. Do you think that the standby force is the best thing to do? And if you were uh, chairman of ECOWAS, what would you do? If I were chairman of ECOWAS, the first thing that I will do when the coup took place is make within an hour make a short statement that the we receive the situation in the Republic with a bit of dismay but we are watching the situation and we are consulting. And watching and consulting will be taken very, very seriously. Who are behind it? What was their ulterior motive, if there was ulterior motive? What was their, who are supporting them, if anybody? And after finding out all that and consulting within ECOWAS, within outside ECOWAS in Africa and beyond Africa, then we will come up with a, 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 a statement that will not be belly grant, but will start the process of ameliorating things. Are you surprised that the new wave of coups? I'm not surprised. That's what I'm supported by. I'm not. I'm not surprised. Yes. And then it is also bloodless. Not surprised. The public are human beings. They know what is going on. If any leader anywhere in the world want to ride roughshod on the public, on the citizens, he's undermining himself or herself. Because the public are not fools. They see, they know, they hear. You can trample on them for most of the time. And one time when they are fed up and they their back is against the wall, they will become desperate. And for a frustrated and desperate community, anything can happen. Your Excellency, at the ongoing AYGC convergence, there are five nationals and uh, with us here, whose country uh, have been taken over by military. As young people converging here at the conference, what should they take home? If the youth are expecting that they will get a change on the platter of gold, they are deceiving themselves. They must bring about a change that they need. Finally, Baba, we would wish that you live longer. But tell me, Your Excellency, what would you be, love to be remembered for? I came to the world. I live in the world. And from my local government, from my family, up to the globe, up to the world at large, did I try to do anything to make it better than I found it? That's all I want to remember. Your impressions about the ongoing Africa in the Governor's convergence? I want to pay compliment to the founder and the executive director of the foundation in person of Seth, who had done a great, great work I have been in his shoe trying to set up 
Foundation. I have Africa Leadership Foundation. I set up another foundation to build and run my presidential library. I know how difficult uh, it, it, it can be. And he has been going for now over 15 years. He must be commend, commended. And then every year he gathers you together from far and wide to make them think about what they can do to make their own life better, to make the life of other youth better, and to make Africa, our Africa, a better Africa. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for this rare opportunity to speak to you. We're grateful.